Hello, hello, hello. This is Frida. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's doing well. For this video, I am going to show you what I have purchased from a local yarn shop and on Etsy. So I'm doing a yarn showing. It's already open. I opened it. It's not an unboxing. So um, let me just dump it. Uh, there's a local yarn shop called Yarn Divas here in Edmonton, uh, St. Albert, close to me. And I've been knitting with uh, this, uh, where are you? Ah, uh, here we are. It's a number seven I purchased the last time I was there. It's one of these Addy uh, Rocket. And it's very nice to work with. I'm a tight knitter, so this is a number seven. So I wanted something smaller. Uh, the reason that's the reason I went there, knitting needles. And uh, so I grabbed this number five. It's a number five millimeter, 80, 80 32 long length. And uh, I really like knitting with these. They're very comfortable. So while I was at it, <laughs> of course, look what I grabbed. <laughs> let me just talk about this one here. Okay, the price, the price, let me just pull the price. Okay, the price for that is, here we are, $22.95 plus tax on top of it. Uh... Yeah, 14, I paid $14 tax. Yeah, because I've been trying to figure out if I order online, the shipping fee and the custom fee, it costs me more. Uh, even the prices are more ex expensive on the at the local yarn shops. Uh, it's way lower than order, ordering online. Okay, so um, the first time I went to this place, so this is my third time okay so i bought some fiber and it's so soft it's so soft it's unbelievable okay i'm gonna be spinning yarn spinning uh fiber so this is 100 percent merino wool and all the infos are here i don't know where they found this but it's super soft yeah and it's eight dollars eight dollars and it's very soft let's put this aside here are the yarn that i fell in love with it when i first went and the price it was this amount i think two years ago i went there i i do have a, a review about it if you go into my um if you go into my uh, videos, local yarn shop, Yarn Divas, first time me uh, going there. I did not buy it then because I bought other stuff and I purchased whatever they had. They didn't have many, so I'm planning to make something, but I'm thinking of adding Angora Rabbit into this because... Um, the the yarn is i don't know when i first touched it it was super soft but now i'm to, when i'm touching it it's not that soft yeah it's the tweed felted tweed it says and this is a dk they didn't have worsted on the worsted and it says 50 percent wool so it's not merino wool that's why it's not super soft it has 25% alpaca and 25% viscose. So um, I'm wearing a sweater that I have knit. This is a tweed as well. I have knit this and I have the tutorial. And it feels like this. Okay, this was very thin yarn. So I did a couple of strands to knit this up. So I'm thinking it's one of those yarns. And I already have a cone of mustard that I'm planning to knit as well but i really like the colors if you look at the colors can you see it has the blue it has the orange it has the white 
So I am planning to add Angora Rabbit to knit with this. It will give a little bit more softness to it. And then it will break this uh, navy color. It will give it pastel looking. So they only had not many. Let me just check. Um, so they only had 10. And I'm hoping, because I'm a plus size. And it cost me $177. It's uh, $17.50. Online it's cheaper. But again, the shipping fee and the custom fee going to cost me more so uh if i don't have enough i will order it online and i don't know if the lot color will match that's another thing right that's another thing with these lots they don't well if i add the uh, angora rabbit i'm sure it would work okay so and then uh i ended up falling in love with this color look at the color oh my goodness I never heard of this brand, but it's the King Cole. Ice Yarn sells this yarn for three bucks for a, for a ball. But they don't have these colors. Yeah, Ice, Ice Yarn has the same, same, I call it the ingredients. So 22% fine merino, 22% alpaca, 22% polyamide, 20% acrylic, and 10% viscose. So when I checked the ice yarn, they don't have the same color. I just fell in love with this color. That's the only reason I grabbed it. And again, this is a DK. So I'm going to be knitting. It's recommending a four, but I, I'm a tight knitter. So I will knit these with my new uh, needles. And then we'll go from there. I'm planning to uh, knit a couple of uh, new designs and I will share it. Okay, let me just put this back. So, that's all I bought. Yeah, with this, I'm going to be spinning. They only had only one of this, unfortunately. I wish they had more. But uh, they only had one, and it's super soft. Yeah. The weight is 50 gram. So, it's just tiny. It's tiny. It's two times infinity. That's what it says. Maybe that's the name of the brand. Never heard of it. And I don't care about brands. I just care about the product. So uh, I ended up paying $314.35 Canadian. Okay. So this was, I believe, I was at, I was at the service. And I, after the service, so Wednesday, I believe. Yeah, Wednesday. So I bought these on Wednesday. It's on the 30th. And it shows me the time. <laughs> okay. And Monday, last Monday, I was at the doctor's. And uh, there's a yarn shop close to that, uh, to that place. And I was looking for bouclet yarn. And I found this. I found this. This is $38 and it is, uh, I believe, merino wool. It's 100 grams. I'm making, I'm gonna, planning to make a hat. It says uh, super, 50% super baby alpaca and 50% merino. Yeah, it is super soft and uh, I'm gonna make a bucket hat. That's what I like and $38 and plus GST. And uh, I was looking at, actually, I was looking for bobbins because I, I spin as well, right? So I saw this beautiful color and it said cotton. I was just surprised to see it's cotton. And oh my goodness, it's, it's so soft. So I am planning, I don't know, maybe I will add this to this. I'm not quite sure, but then the boucle will be gone. So I don't want to ruin the boucle look. And uh, I don't know. I'll just put this aside because I'm not sure. And I just fell in love with the color. It's beautiful mustard yellow. So uh, that's what I bought. I haven't been buying yarn for ages and suddenly boom, boom, boom. So I'm trying not to because I have so much yarn around it. And on Etsy, 
Uh, I have this yarn in my stash. I think I bought it in 2020, four years ago. And it has wool in it. Yeah, these were from Turkey I purchased. And it has wool in it. So I was, tr this is a mustard. Uh, beautiful color. Yeah, it has 20% uh, wool in it. I, I didn't even open the bag. It's only five of this. So I was thinking, what can I do with this beautiful yarn? I can add a brown in it. Maybe that's the reason I went for the hat. But the hat is going to be for me. Ah, uh, maybe I don't know. I have this new sit stitch in mind, so I will do the tutorial. First, I'll do the tutorial. It does give you the Tunisian look, but it's it's a knit. Because crochet uses up more yarn and knit like four times compared to knitting. Maybe that's the reason I want to go with knit. So, uh, I was searching, what can I add this? I want to add maybe uh, one row and then knit the rest, five rows or four rows, and then just play randomly. So I will do that tutorial as well. I will do it, I will do the knitting and I will tape it and it will be a tutorial for whoever wants to make uh, the card again. Okay, so uh, while I was uh, on Etsy, I was looking for free shipping, of course, and discounts. Yarn is very expensive, like 314 I paid for one local yarn shop. Uh, so I was looking for something like that. And I found uh, here in Canada, this lady, she's uh, selling her, uh, uh, she's selling her, what you call it, her stash. Yeah, so I paid $80 for all of this yarn, free shipping, and plus the discount. So I was really happy. Look at the color. Yeah, look at the color. And uh, these are lots of yarn here when you look at it. Let, let's look at this one. This one doesn't have a label. Oh, these don't have a label. This one does. So uh, this is the name of the yarn. Called soap, 80% wool, 12% acrylic, 4% polyester, and 4% nylon. So when you're touching it, it's not that soft, but I'm sure this will look very nice on a cardigan. So um, I ended up buying, how many was there? There's only four of them. Yeah, so I, and can you see the shine? I do have Angela's. These are called Angela, I think, when you're spinning. So I don't know. I do have a lot, actually. I never use, well, I use them on some projects. Some of them I didn't. Okay, so this, this yarn is very similar to this one. Even the name is different. But when you look at the texture, it looks like it, other than the sparkling. It doesn't have sparkling. So, um, see? It has these uh, golden, uh, golden, uh, you see, it's very thin. Yeah, but I'm sure I can get away with the number five. Yeah, I can knit it with the five. Perfect. So this one doesn't have wool in it. Oh, no, it does. I think. I'm not quite sure. Is this wool or? I think it's wool. Yeah, it says wool. Yeah. Uh, it's in German. Viscose polyamide. Yeah, so uh, there's plenty of this yarn. Nine. Nine of them. So nine times five. Four hundred of it's on gonna be making a beautiful card again and uh, this as well this is wool but it, it's it's thick look it's very thick when you compare to those so I need to play around with it I don't know um, I might do this and this double you know to give this thickness because the yellow mustard is thick as well. 
So this one is 90% wool, 6% acrylic, and 4% viscose. It's made in Italy. And, uh, yeah, I think I can get away with the five, yeah. Yeah, I might knit uh, this brown and this, uh, this double, yeah. Give that thickness. And then, here's the fourth. It reminds me of velvet. Let's. I haven't opened and touched it, so this is the first time. Oh yeah, it's very soft. So this is thin again. I can double this because there's plenty of yarn with this. So I'm going to play around with it and then uh, make something different. So uh, it's going to be most of my uh, handmade items are one of a kind. It says Osterman hmm. Domain Domini. Made in Italy. Just wanted to check. I just picked the colors to match the mustard. So uh, it says German. Yeah. So it's, oh, this one has tensile in it. Tactile. 80%. And 20% polyamide. So that's what I will be adding. And then I will add the yellow in between. Just to give you an idea. So, uh, yeah, this would work with everything. Yeah, and I think I have a little bit of gray. I might add the gray as well. I have a couple of these. This one has wool in it as well. I can add the gray as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, I am planning to knit. You know, you can mix yarn with different uh, weight and then create something one of a kind. So that's what my plan is. And I'm sure it's going to turn out fantastic. Again, the knit stitch is going to be looking like the Tunisian. So uh, that's what I'm going with. And it's going to be a long cardigan, which is i have i will use up all of the yarn so i just wanted to share what i have uh what i've been up to uh yeah i didn't i just wanted to use up this yarn i ended up buying more but um yeah i'm sure it's gonna turn out fantastic so i have uh two bags of this i have enough i will add the gray as well and i will play around with it to give that uh i don't so, uh, like Chanel look, Chanel jackets look, which like a weave, weave look. Yeah, that's that is my plan, and these variegated colors are just fantastic. So, uh, I th I'm sure it's gonna turn out that good, and with the gray and the with the yellow in between. Yeah, the, the gray just came to my mind while I was because this one has gray in it, it's just beautiful. So uh, I hope you like this unboxing, this uh, me showing you, sharing you what I have been purchasing. And uh, yeah, so uh, I will see you on my next video. Uh, it's just time consuming for me to do this uh, video because I haven't started yet. I don't know when I'm going to start, but I want to finish a whip. That is my plan. When I finish one whip, I start a big project. That is my goal. At least I can fin finish 10 whips for 2024. And we still have two months left to end 2024. <laughs> you guys take care. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Share it with your family and friends. And don't forget to hit that notification button. So every time I post a new video, you will be notified indicating uh, there's something new. Happy knitting, everybody. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.